All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what I've done with the um, dining room since the last time you saw me. So this is my fall decor. As you guys know, I said I did not want to change much in my living space. I just wanted to bring in a little bit of fall. So I have these woven pumpkins that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Um, let's see, I picked them up last season at the end of season sale. And these florals I picked up from Target at some point. I think maybe about a year or so ago. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And also what I did with the dining room table. This is the infamous hearth and hand vase. This little vase I picked up from Target Dollar Spot. And all of the pompous I picked up from Target as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's faux. It's all faux pompous. I think I picked that up from Target too, but you can find faux pompous pretty much anywhere. Oh, you know what? I, no, I ordered it on Amazon. I ordered it on Amazon. Um, and these two little rascals are having a moment. They're chasing each other around the table. But um, I put one of those wicker pumpkins there. I just love the texture on this face sorry for the shaky camera guys um, i have it in my hand obviously but i just love the texture of this vase and how cute is this i picked this up from dollar tree believe it or not um they had every single letter i think they came out about a week or two ago and i thought that would be so cute to adorn this vase and give it fall vibes because i'm gonna leave the same vases on my table i think i'm gonna go with this style for a couple of years oh my goodness like really what's happening here like they're having a little tug of war. I threw some pumpkins up here, top, top, top. And then I put out my harvest pillow that you guys know I've had for a good two to three years now, as well as this little pumpkin that I picked up from Walmart. I think that was $5.44. I'm not gonna change my artwork out. I thought that I would, but I'm still so in love with it. I don't want to take it down just yet. And then I fill this vase up with the rest of my wicker pumpkins. These, of course, again, come from Hobby Lobby. They come three in a pack, and I had two packs. This little pumpkin came from Target Dollar Spot. And again, these little white pumpkins come in a bag of like five or six white pumpkins that I picked up from Target Dollar Spot as well. A Kroger pumpkin that I've had since, I don't know, a couple of years. And that's the, another one of the Walmart pumpkins there for $5.44. Sorry, I'm laughing at the dogs. This beautiful wreath I picked up from Target. It is part of their Hearth and Hand collection, I believe. Or is it Threshold? I'm not really sure. I take that back. I'm not sure if it's Hearth and Hand, Threshold, or Studio McGee. But I fell in love with it. I love the texture. Love the vibes. I picked it up. I did not want to make the $30 splurge, but I knew I could not leave it behind. I had to have this wreath. So this was a little little splurge on, on myself. I went ahead and put out my woven, or I think some people call this hyacinth, is it? I don't know, correct me down in the comments below. I went ahead and put these placemats out. I got these uh, maybe, I think a year ago from Walmart. And these chargers are from Hobby Lobby. I've had those for a couple of years. This clear set is a mix match of, originally I bought them from Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree sells these, but Walmart also has the clear bowl, saucer, and plate set for almost the same price that you would spend at Dollar Tree getting a, each individual piece. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of the both, the, the, uh, the two, shall I say. These adorable little salad plates or dessert plates I picked up from Target. They were on clearance last year at Target's end of season sale. And I got two different designs. One is like their Thanksgiving harvest design, which is what you see here with the little turkey on it. And the other one that I have is a spring one that's kind of a dusty rose color. And I put that one out. So this is going to be my fall table setting. I love to keep my glass dishes on. I just like to add some elements of fall. So that's pretty much it for the dining room area. This is kind of an impromptu video. I really didn't even plan on filming today. I was really filming to show you guys a haul that I just did from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to take you in the kitchen, show you what I picked up from Hobby Lobby, and hopefully these boys will behave themselves while I go through everything. Say hi, Maxwell. Maxi. Maxie, you want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi, Cree. Hi, Cree Cree. Those are my baby boys, as you guys know. All right, let's head into the kitchen. All right, so I'm going to lay everything out that I picked up from the store today. I did a little retail therapy. Um, this is, <laughs> these are for me. <laughs> they were on sale. 
but this is actually a gift for a friend and I'm going to pair that with some red wine. He's doing me a huge favor. Um, he's taking me to one of my doctor's offices that's really far from my house. It's about an hour drive and it's at like 7 a.m. in the morning. So I want to gift him some chocolate and some, some wine for later in the day. Super excited to put all this stuff out. You guys know my, hall, my home is pretty much like fall vibes slash like coastal so now that i finally got a vibe for this house which i think we're probably going to be staying here for the next couple years um i really don't want to change anything up so as we go through the seasons i just want to like you know pay homage to the season not really do a full-on decorate christmas i will absolutely go all out because that's just the bomb.com that's like when you know when i go crazy but for Thanksgiving and all that other stuff I think I'm going to scale back and as the seasons come around really sell or give away or donate a lot of the, the decor that I've purchased um, over the years. I finally found two wreaths that I absolutely love that I'm going to be putting on my front porch so I'm going to show them to you guys right now. So I found these wreaths at Hobby Lobby. They are not a part of their fall decor. They're just part of their like regular wreath section, like in the back when you go near the greenery. And they were $39.99 each, but they were 50% off because all like wreaths and stuff like that are 50% off. So I ended up getting two of them for the price of one. Super excited. I'm going to hang these on my front porch because they're kind of like faux pompous, faux wheatgrass. And this is going to complement the wreath that is currently hanging on my front door without clashing with it too much i didn't want it to be matchy matchy like the wreath on my front door is the exact same color as the wreath that i'm hanging over the window on my front porch i just wanted them to compliment and i think that these two wreaths are going to do that really well so once i'm done showing you guys this fall decor haul i'm going to take you outside and show you what it looks like when i put these up because if you remember in my last video I just did an early fall decorate with me for my front porch and I'll link that up top um, and below. I did like an early fall decorate with me, but now I'm actually getting to getting into fall fall. So I'll take you guys outside and show you what they look like on the front porch. Next up, I have these beautiful like pumpkin stems, I guess you want to call them. I think they're so cute. They were $9.99 at Hobby Lobby, but of course everything is 50% off as far as fall decor is concerned. And I got the exact same one in like this pleather leather material. Not sure which I'm going to put where. I kind of have an idea of where I'm going to put them. Um, this actually came off. This was my fault. I pulled it off by accident. So I got to like glue that back on. Um, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Ha, ha I got it on. So I'm not really sure which one I'm going to put where, but I knew I could not leave either of these in the store. I had to have them. And then I picked up some more faux pompous, which I am just absolutely obsessed with. And I'm going to be putting this in my dining room. The corner in my dining room is so dark and I want to brighten it up. You guys know that that has always been the struggle with me in this house is the darkness. All of our rooms are a shade of gray, like some sort of gray. Um, my living space is actually a really light gray, but for whatever reason, it absorbs a ton of light and makes it dark in here. And then our game room and bedroom is a darker gray, but that's fine because I like it moody in there. But my struggle is always brightening up the space. And I have found a way to do that is through florals and they have to be like white or off white or creamy beige or something like that. So I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to put these, but I'm super excited that I found them. They were $19.99 each, but they are a part of Hobby Lobby's fall decor. So they were 50% off. So I got two again for the price of one. If not, they would have been, you know, 10 bucks a piece, which is a steal for this super long faux pompous stem. And then I picked up this adorable vase from Hobby, uh, no, from Aldi. And it has these fall vibes. I'm going to keep the vase year round, but I figure that I can pluck the inner parts out because it's just styrofoam in there and replace it with whatever kind of floral I want in there. But I think I'm going to keep this for fall. And then when um, Christmas comes and all the other holidays, I'm going to go ahead and change it out. But this was $14.99. This was like one of the most expensive items that I bought. And it was from Aldi of all places. But I love the vase and I had to have it. I picked up this beautiful canvas art from Hobby Lobby in their clearance section. Don't just go to Hobby Lobby for their sales. Please head to their clearance section. You will be amazed at what you will find. This was originally $60, right? With the faux pompous, like wheat kind of decor. And I got it on clearance for $14.99. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I got that baby for $14.99. And I think I'm gonna hang it 
right on uh, right on this wall like in my kitchen and I'll show you guys that area it's always been kind of a blank space for me and I've always wanted to put something there but it needed to be the right thing so I'm gonna give it a try if I don't like it I can always return it but super excited about this artwork and last but not least the biggest splurge is this faux pompous um, faux pompous like bush or what would you call it I don't I'm not really sure like tree I am so excited look at how tall it is oh my god and it is just absolutely stunning and I plan on putting that in the corner over there where that tree is and maybe selling that tree on Facebook marketplace you see how dark it is over there like I have all the lights on down here and it just absorbs light for some reason so I'm gonna brighten it up with this piece and put this in the corner and then with the canvas artwork that I picked up I want to hang it right here and hopefully it brings in some of that light that's why I went with all these lighter shades of curtains here to kind of brighten up this space this one was a hundred bucks um, but all of their greenery 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 who am I greenery was 50% off so it was it came out to $50 it was half off I only buy Hobby Lobby's like trees and greenery when, when <laughs> greenery what is wrong with me when it's 50% off um, so I was super excited to see this when I came into the store I almost jumped for joy I wanted to buy two of them but I had to like contain myself so I'm gonna put that over in the corner and just show you guys um, you know what I'm gonna do again I didn't even plan on filming today like I'm not even really dressed I just throw some shorts and a t-shirt but listen that's real life right that's real life and you guys know that I do not hold items um, like for the sake of filming like buy a bunch of stuff like oh I can't put it together until I film like you know I'm not that girl I buy it I put it out because I pay my hard-earned money for it and I want to enjoy it so I'm gonna get everything put out I just bought it I just came home I'm gonna get it all put out and I said why not film because my peeps want to see this so again so happy you are here with me today let's jump into this really quick now that we are like officially into fall I'm sorry for the things I have done, for the things I never did. But I promise, dear, I'll never let you go. So don't. Let so I'm obsessed. I love it in this corner. I know it is not as tall as the other, um, you know, tree that I have, but I love it. I'm gonna get something to cover up that price stick or maybe I can peel it off um, but let's see if I can do it now I want to be so much better whenever you're around I want to say something clever to get in your mind right okay I took the price tag off I'm obsessed love it I think that it is perfect it's not overwhelming I know it's not as tall as the other tree but I love it. Here's the difference from um, the corner earlier. Remember how dark that corner was because that tree just absorbed all the light? Now it's reflecting light and I think it looks so much better. I'm in love with it. I'm happy with my purchase. Okay, so next up is this area that I wanna tackle. I'm gonna go ahead and hang that canvas picture there. I'm just gonna use two, see if you guys can see those, two little flathead um, like nails and i have a leveler that i've had for like 10 years from dollar tree and just this cute little hammer and that's it i'm not going to do any like screwing in the wall and anchoring this this picture is not heavy at all and these flat head nails work perfectly dreamed about nothing else other than you i always thought i'd be waiting waiting in vain but suddenly I can stay till the morning, stay till the dawn, but just hold me now. All right, so I've hung the picture. It's up, and I love it. 
I always hang things a little high in my house. My husband's not the Jolly Green Giant, but he is about like six feet, six one. So I don't want things to be like my height. So I have to be cognizant of that when I'm like, you know, decorating and hanging things. I don't want things to feel like he's in a miniature house. So I always hang things a little bit high and I've learned to appreciate it high. So yeah, that's it. And I absolutely love the picture. And it's time for me to let the boys outside because they have to um, use the potty because they just ate. So hang on for two seconds. Now I think I'm going to add one of those like pumpkin sticks, maybe the one with the white pumpkins to that greenery. We'll see how it looks. Um, I wanted to put something in that vase that said fall because I didn't switch out the greenery. I was going to do pumpus, but I was like, I don't want to have pumpus, pumpus, pumpus everywhere. People are going to think I went pumpus crazy. So uh, let's see if I can stick some pumpkins in there and see how it comes out. And again, this pick is from Hobby Lobby. This adorable pumpkin. It comes in blue, green, like so many different colors and different finishes. This one is kind of velvety. And then the brown one that I picked up um, is like a leatherette material. But they do have like traditional orange, traditional browns and things like that. I just thought that these were kind of funky and cool. So let's see how it looks inside of here. I want to be so much better whenever you're around. I want to say something clear. I think it's okay I don't love it but I think I'm gonna leave it for a few days I'm oh, sorry if that you hear noise in the background that's the um, iRobot Roomba that just started um, I don't know if I'm going to leave well I will leave it but I don't know if it's gonna stay all fall so we'll see we'll see but it's kind of cute right sort of kind of maybe I don't know let's see if it grows on us y'all okay so before we move on to the rest of the decor i have to share this with you i just opened these this is my first time ever having the aldi's um lemon shortbread cookies the brand is benton oh lord there goes the irobot emptying sorry i have the self-emptying version which i love i adore it but that sucker sure is loud this is my first time having these shortbread cookies i thought it was kind of like the lemon um oreos where like the lemon is inside y'all the lemon is on the back first of all look at how big these cookies are first of all they're amazing and the lemon oh focus focus the lemon is on the back and it melts in your mouth this is amazing ladies and gentlemen amazing if you're ever in aldi grab you some all right so here is all of the items that i want to put out in the dining room again my aldi um, floral arrangement that i picked up for $14.99 my pump stems and this little leatherette guy so let's see what we do with it again i'm back to the same thing the same theme of wanting to brighten up this corner as you can see that corner is kind of dull and dark I put some greenery like some greenery pompous in there and it just didn't do the job it's just not bright enough um, and those stems those sticks my husband had those and we were dating those are like from his bachelor pad we've just kept them so I'm gonna take those out maybe put the lighter pompous in and let's see how it comes out Okay, so I ended up just sticking that. I played around with a bunch of options. I did the white pompous with the green. I did a bunch of different options, but nothing felt right to me. I think I just need like a hundred more pompous stems <laughs> to make myself happy. But for now, I just put the um, like stems that my husband had from his bachelor pad, those like stick branches back in there. And I just stuck those two pompous, uh, faux pompous stems in there. Those are the last two that Hobby Lobby had, but I'm going to give it some time. I'm going to see if they come back with any more, or maybe I may try a different Hobby Lobby because I would love to have, no lie, maybe like eight more of them. Um, I know that's going to be expensive because on, even on sale, they're like 10 bucks a piece. So that's like $80. And then plus those two, it's like I spent $100, but I like what I like. 
And if I want to make the change, one thing I've learned in my maturity and growing up is that if you buy what you like the first time, you don't have to buy it again. So we'll see. I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm in absolutely no rush to replace it, but um, I think it does brighten up that corner just a little bit. So I'm just going to leave it be for now, but I'm pretty much going to have my eye out on for more pompous and I'll also search Amazon to see if I can get a better deal for more because I would love to just fill that thing up. And I may even still leave the branches there, but I would love to fill that up like from the bottom to the top with a bunch of pumpus. Okay, so this little area, um, I have a vase from, I don't even know what that vase is from, but it's huge. Like it doesn't, the, the top of it is like huge. And I just stuck that, um, those stems in there that I've had for God knows how long. Um, just so I did just so it wasn't an eyesore but I really want to switch it out and I want to switch it out for this one that way is giving more fall vibes there and I really really like that I mean I love these stems as well but um that's giving fall vibes and I can bring these back for um, winter actually like Christmas spring and summer I'm just gonna put this inside of this cabinet that this arrangement is sitting on and keep it for um, you know next season all right we are back outside as Beyonce said just said you outside but you ain't that outside I don't know I just have to say it anywho I'm gonna be replacing these wreaths here with the um, off-white ones that I have <clears throat> so I finally hung my pompas and like faux wheat stem wreath on my door which I love I picked that up last year at Kirkland's end of season sale I think I got it for 40 or 50 percent off something like that so I thought that it went perfect with my minimal fall decor that I have out here and I think that those wreaths will complement it really well without competing so I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up I also changed out my signage that I have hanging here let me take you guys over there so you can see in my last video you saw I hung up the autumn sign well I changed it out because I felt like I needed a pop of orange or something on this front porch to complement the wreath that's on my door so I went with the farm fresh pumpkins and it is in gray writing which goes perfectly with the pillows and other decor that I have out here so I think it's pretty pretty cute minimal on the orange you know the burnt orange the, the traditional like um, fall colors however I feel like I was able to bring fall in without being you know without it being like too overbearing so let's let's get these like spring summer wreaths down and hang up my new fall wreaths and see how they look yay so I hung the wreaths up if you notice I jumped a little bit <laughs> when I took the green wreaths down because there was a wasp nest that fell out from behind there scared me to death but it was empty nothing was in it the wasps have already hatched unfortunately um, so I love them one's a little bit bigger than the other and I've shaped and reshaped them it just is what it is but that's fine it doesn't have to be perfect but I think that they complement everything on the front porch very very well and with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am going to decorate a little bit more for fall as we get further into the season, but I didn't want to rush it. I wanted to enjoy the, you know, the last few days of summer and ease my way into the fall decor. So stay tuned for more content. If you are not subscribed, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. We have a beautiful community here, and I would love to have you as a part of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.